After extensively evaluating more than 50 different flat irons, we bought the 11 most compelling hair straightening irons available today to test out side by side and find out which is the best for achieving silky smooth, straight hair. We talked with a professional hairstylist and had a panel of judges rate and rank these products. Keep reading to see which flat iron flattened the competition, which is the best bargain option, and which is our favorite travel styling tool. The first product on our list is CHIG21 and 1 quarter inch iron. If you are searching for a premium hair straightening iron for all of your styling needs, we highly recommend the CHIG2 ceramic and titanium iron. This is one of our all-time favorite flat irons. Its titanium-infused ceramic plates glide easily over most types of hair, and it contains just about all the features and functions that we would want. It automatically shuts off after one hour and has an extra long swivel cord. The CHI has an easy-to-read digital display with temperature presets for different hair types, along with plus and minus buttons to fine-tune the temperature to your liking. However, we did find that this product has a slightly lower maximum temperature than many of its competitors, with a claimed maximum temperature of 425 degrees Fahrenheit and a measured maximum temperature of around 410 degrees Fahrenheit in our tests. This shouldn't be too much of an issue unless you usually straighten your hair with the iron as hot as possible. The CHI is also one of the more expensive options we have tested, and it lacks a hanging loop for storage. Despite these minor drawbacks, we feel that it's hard to go wrong with this product if you're seeking the best of the best. The second product on our list is Bar Bilis Pro Nano Titanium Mini. The Bar Bilis Pro Nano Titanium is another hair straightening iron that thoroughly flattened the competition. This top tier iron glides easily across thin and thick hair, leaving it silky smooth with just a few passes. It heats up very quickly and has a listed maximum temperature of 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This iron is available with titanium plates in 1 inch, 1.5 inches, and 2 inches widths and has a fairly long cord that pivots. Unfortunately, this product doesn't have an automatic safety shutoff. Its interface also isn't the most intuitive, offering you 50 different settings rather than just letting you set the desired temperature in degrees. However, we think its straightening performance is so good that it outweighs these flaws, and we consider it a great option for anyone searching for a high-end tool for their hair styling needs. The next product is Remington S5500. While the Remington S5500 might not be the best of the best, it's hard to beat if you are shopping on a tight budget. It typically costs a fraction of what the premium products do and does a decent job of straightening hair. It glides reasonably well and matches the maximum temperature of some of the top products. We also appreciate this model's swivel cord and hinge lock. This iron has one of the shorter cords of the entire group, though, and the interface and digital display aren't necessarily our favorites. However, our biggest complaint with this hair straightening iron is that it feels like you need to apply more clamping pressure to ensure the plates make full contact with your hair. Though not our first choice, it will straighten your hair well for considerably less money than the premium models. It's a good option for anyone shopping on a tight budget or someone who wants a flat iron for infrequent use. The next product in our list is Hot Tools Signature Series Ceramic Digital. If you're willing to spend a bit more to invest in a quality hair straightening iron, but the premium tools are out of your budget, check out the Hot Tools Ceramic Signature Series. This economically priced model just about holds its own against the top tier irons, offering quality straightening performance with its ceramic plates. It glides well across both thick and thin hair types and is available with either 1 inch or 1.5 inches wide plates. It has a listed maximum temperature of 450 degrees Fahrenheit and will automatically shut off after 2 hours if you accidentally left it plugged in. It also has a cord pivot, storage hanging loop, and is compatible with 110 volts to 240 volts if you happen to be traveling. We did find the cord to be on the short side, around 6, which definitely might preclude it from salon use. It doesn't have a hinge lock, and we measured the maximum temperature to be slightly lower than the claimed amount. All in all, 
It's a great value hair straightening iron, not the best for professionals, but we think it's the perfect choice for anyone looking for the best value when it comes to these products. The next product in our list is Armo V Nano Titanium Mini Flat Iron. Right off the bat, we will admit that the Armo V Mini Flat Iron is not the best option for daily use. However, this compact flat iron stands out for its exceptional portability, making it a great option for travel. It has half an inch wide plates that slide decently well across hair, as well as a cord pivot and a hanging loop. This flat iron will also work with 110 volts to 240 volts, making it even more travel friendly. However, this little flat iron has much smaller plates than a typical hair straightening iron, meaning that styling will probably take longer. The Armo V also has a lower maximum temperature, with our thermocouple recording a high temp of 382 degrees Fahrenheit. Its cord is short, and it lacks a temperature adjustment, with the interface limited to an on-slash-off switch, but we think it's almost impossible to beat this product if you're looking to pack light on your next trip. The next product is Nishan Professional Flat Iron. The Nishan Professional Salon Hair Straightener sets itself apart with its ability to perform as a straightener and a curler. While we generally would recommend getting a dedicated curler and a straightener if you frequently are using both, this at least gives you the option with some alright results if you hardly ever need a curling iron. It has the typical temperature range with 1 inch wide plates and a curved exterior for curling purposes, along with a slick and intuitive interface that is very easy to see. It also has an automatic shut-off and one of the longer cords with a swivel connection. Finally, we also like that it includes a pouch, heat-resistant glove, a comb, and some clips. Regardless of how it's marketed, this product didn't really wow us as a curling iron. Moreover, the professional stylist we consulted said she would never try and use this for curling purposes but could see it delivering some alright results if you really worked at it. It's something to consider if the two-in-one use appeals to you, but we otherwise would recommend some different products if you're just looking for a straightening iron. The next product in our list is Remington S9500 Pro 1-inch Pearl Flat Iron. The Remington S9500 PP Pearl Pro Ceramic Flat Iron's main merit is that it usually retails at one of the lowest prices of the entire test group. It has all the basic features and will automatically turn off if left plugged in. It has a digital display, swivel cord attachment, and a hinge lock. Unfortunately, we weren't overly fond of the straightening performance of this flat iron. The ceramic slash pearl plates didn't seem to glide as smoothly across hair in our assessments. This flat iron also didn't do particularly well in our temperature accuracy test, with our thermocouple recording a maximum temperature of 466 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Fahrenheit higher than the claimed maximum temperature. The next product in our list is Furidan Professional Flat Iron. The Furidan Professional Hair Straightener is another two-in-one hair straightening slash curling iron. It has an automatic power off, a twist dial interface, and an eight cord. The cord has a swivel attachment and a hinge lock. It's compatible with 110 volts to 240 volts and includes a pouch, heat-resistant glove, comb, and two clips. We have similar qualms with this combo styling tool as other multifunctional curling slash straightening irons, we wouldn't want to use the Furidan as a curling iron frequently. We also noticed more resistance with the ceramic tourmaline plates when moving across hair compared to some of the other top-tier options. All in all, we would recommend plenty of other straightening irons over this one when it comes to straightening performance, and plenty of other curling irons over this one when it comes to curling hair. The next product is Infinity Pro by Conair Tourmaline Ceramic Iron. Our testing team found the Infinity Pro by Conair to be a low-cost, low-performing option. It is available with 1 inch, 1.25 inches, or 1.75 inches plates and has one of the highest claimed maximum temperatures of the entire group. To its credit, it has an automatic power-off function, and the cord does swivel. The ceramic tourmaline plates didn't pass over hair as effortlessly as we would have liked, and we were a little concerned with the performance of this product in our temperature accuracy tests. 
We measured a maximum temperature of 464 degrees Fahrenheit, quite a bit higher than the claimed maximum temperature of 455 degrees Fahrenheit and high enough that we would be concerned about damaging hair at the highest setting. It only has a six cord, and the interface isn't the most user-friendly, as it gives you 30 temperature settings to choose from, rather than just letting you choose a temperature. All in all, we would suggest an alternative flat iron for most people. The next product is HSI Professional Glider. Overall, we weren't thrilled with the performance of the HSI Professional Glider, and we didn't find much to love about this flat iron. It has a basic interface, a fairly long cord, and a hanging loop for storage. It also includes a storage pouch, packet of argan oil, and a heat-resistant glove to minimize the chance of burning yourself. We found there to be considerably more resistance when sliding across multiple hair types. It lacks a digital display, a hinge lock, and an auto shut-off feature. It also didn't impress in our temperature accuracy test, showing a max temperature of about 26 degrees Fahrenheit lower than its claimed maximum. All in all, we struggled to find a reason to recommend the HSI. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.